What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert your Windows 10 into virtual machine. For example, if you're trying to sell your laptop or desktop, or you're trying to reinstall Windows or just reformat the drive or do something. And if you have legacy software installed or a lot of data that you might need later, you can create virtual machine and run it on any other computer as a computer in a computer. The difference is you're just not going to be able to touch it because it's virtual. It's going to be within your system. Open your internet browser and we'll have to download vCenter Converter and it's a free software. So just go to this website and I'll leave a link in the description below and press right here on download now. Then this window is going to appear right here. Press on go to downloads and then press on download now. So right here, you have to have an account. If you don't have one, just press sign up and go through the sign up process and create yourself login. And then we'll have to log in over here. I already have my account created, so I'm not going to go through this process, but it's easy. You can figure that out. And then once your registration is complete, just use that same credentials and then press on sign in. And then in here, press check mark next to I agree terms and conditions and then press on accept and you can read to end user agreement. And that's it. Once this window is going to appear, just press on save file. Once the file is downloaded, you can run it from here or you can navigate to your file explorer and go to downloads and just run it in downloads. And now we just have to go through the installation process. Just press next here, next, agree terms, next, next. And I'm going to leave it as default because I'm doing local installation. Next, I'm going to uncheck this and then next and then install. And then once the installation is complete, we can leave everything as default, leave this check mark here and then press on finish. And then we can minimize download folder. So once we get to the screen, we need to press on convert machine. And then in here, we need to drop down this menu and we need to select this local machine and then press next. So right here, we need to drop down this menu and we need to choose VMware workstation or other VMware virtual machines because we're going to be using a VMware player to actually boot into the system. And then in here, select VM product. We're just going to choose a VMware player seven and 12, and then select location for this virtual machine. Click on browse and on our desktop, I'm just going to create new folder and I'm going to call it VM, then go to desktop and then select VM and then press okay. And then next, and then in here where it says data to copy, I'm going to press on edit because I'm not going to copy free space from the system. So I'm going to drop down the menu here and I'm going to press on size 53 gigs. And then in here under devices, I'm going to press edit and right here, memory allocate for this virtual machine. I'm going to drop it down to two gigs and then everything else. I'm going to leave it as default and I'm going to press next and then I'm going to press on finish. And that's it. It's converting my existing machine into virtual machine. And right here, you can see estimated time. In my case, it could take up to one hour and three minutes. Okay, once the process is complete, we can close converter. Then we need to open our web browser again. And then in here, we're going to paste this link and I'll put link in the description below. And then we will need to download a VMware workstation player. Just going to go to downloads and in here, just press on download now and then save file. Same thing. Once the file is done, we'll go to download folder and we're just going to double click here. And then in here, we just have to go through the installation process. I'm going to uncheck both of these check marks and then next, next, and install. Once this is done, just press on finish. And now we need to double click on VMware Workstation Player. 
And right here, we're going to leave everything as default because this is for non-commercial and then press on continue and then finish. And once this window is going to appear right here, we need to press on open virtual machine. And then we need to navigate to our location where we created that virtual machine. In my case, it's desktop, virtual machine, and then select this file and then press on open. And then right here, play virtual machine. And right here on a startup, we need to press on download and install. This is basically going to install all the required tools. Once that's done, we can press on the actual machine and then type your password here and then press enter or on submit. And that's it. We're successfully created a virtual machine of our own computer. As you can see here, we have identical desktops with an exception of we don't have a player on here. And then you can navigate and you can use all the apps and everything like you would be using your regular computer. And this is pretty much it. If this video was helpful to you, press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.